Welcome back to Worship Leader Wednesday from Worship Tutorials. In this video, Pastor Fuller is going to tell you his onboarding process Ooh. for volunteers. This is a secrets. huge one. This is something that a lot of people... Secrets. Yes. Not anymore. Oh, like, secrets. This is something oh, that, that I know you have been asking about a lot. And we just did a, a Sunday vlog video where I highlighted our, we call them, world, we call our volunteers world changers. World changers. Because that's what they do. Sounds they're cool. They're changing the world, yeah. right? Uh, because they're through the local church. Because the local church is the hope of the world. And uh, our volunteers and your volunteers are what makes that happen. So they're world changers. So we just had what we call a world changer fair, which is something that we do. F-A-I-R. Which is something that we do periodically, maybe one, once a quarter, three times a year. Something like that? Yeah, try to, yeah. Where we just, from the platform, we talk about uh, about the fact that we believe everybody that attends a church should serve the church. Yeah. And we have opportunities for you to serve. And as you leave the worship center, there will be booths set up uh, for you to get more information, to, to give us your information if you're interested in serving. Anyway, link below for that Sunday vlog video where we can see how we do that. But the next step is then if they give you their... So somebody comes up to you, they've, they've, been, they've been attending for a little while and you had no idea, but they can sing or they play guitar and they're like, hey, I play guitar. Uh, you get their information. Now what? That's our onboarding process. Mm. We're going to talk about it in this video. When we talk about onboarding, okay, we're talking about we have a person in mind, a name, a piece of information, an email, a telephone number of somebody that somehow appeared in our pocket or on our desk that says this person plays guitar. Yes. Hey, that's that's They're interesting. That's step yes. one. You got the info. Everything yes. after that is super critical. Yes. And if you asked, if, and it's very time sensitive. Very time sensitive because yes. people, you know, they if you don't respond to them quickly. They might lose interest or, or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and, and your ministry is a, a fantastic way to get them more involved with the church. Yes. To get them deeper in their faith, to get them fed spiritually, because serving does that. Serving God's church does that. I always, my, one of my favorite quotes is, God doesn't use you to complete a task. He uses the task to complete mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. So you have to look at it beyond, I need a guitar player, and more like, I have the opportunity to help this guy who happens to play guitar find a sweet spot in ministry yes. and grow in his faith. Yeah. So you have to have that kind of mentality. If I asked you, if I came to your church and I asked you, hey, what's your process for onboarding? <laughs> if the answer is, that's the wrong answer. If the answer is what's a process <laughs> or what is onboarding, this video is for you. Yeah. Um, very few people, I will say this, the large churches, yeah. the churches that are uh, thousands of people or even hundreds of Three, four, five hundred people, most of them do have a process, yeah. which it probably explains a lot of the growth. And so if you don't have a process, that's your first problem. Yeah. Getting names is not your first problem. Mm. Because what good is it to have a name if you can't assimilate them? Yes. Okay? So these are all words. These are big corporate words. Processes. Assimilation. Yeah. Assimilation is just taking somebody and bringing them into your system. Yeah. But if you don't have a system, it's not a good thing. So... Uh, we're going to lay out for you what our process is that works for us. And I'll start by saying what the process used to be. Okay. The process used to be me getting the information and then just grassroots every time figuring it out. Well, can you meet with me? Hey, let's meet up. What's a good day for you? Can we, you know, maybe, oh, you play that, keys? You want you come by? You want to play some songs for me? That yeah. sounds familiar. Very familiar. Yeah. Or, yeah, play some songs for me or, or whatever. And it's super disorganized. Um, and that evolved kind of into, uh, okay, well, at least a spreadsheet mm -hmm. where I have names and numbers. Yeah. So, like, because I'll forget, like, wait, didn't we talk? Yeah, like, yeah. last year? Didn't you say you played drums two years I ago? I said I played the Rams horn. Yeah, exactly. In the video. So, yeah, the Rams cool. horn. It was awesome. So I'll have a spreadsheet. So now I've upgraded my system yeah. because otherwise it's just, you know, who's who. Yeah. So I started with that and then kind of, and then one day I woke up and realized this system is it's terrible. terrible. It's yes. terrible. So fortunately I married a very smart woman who was very organized and very into systems. Mm -hmm. And so she helped me from her experience with children's ministry, helped me figure out a better system to onboard musicians. Um, we can't treat musicians different than other people. Like the, you just got to look at them as people that need a place to serve. The first thing that I did that was very helpful is I realized 
I wasn't the right person yeah. to lead this process. You have to be extremely administrative. Yeah, yeah. Now, which, which I am... Musicians, by stereotypically, are not. Yeah, it's not good. Plus, do I really need all that to do? Yeah. Like, when there's so many people around me that could do it better than me, faster than me, and, be, and, and then also they're getting an opportunity to serve. Now... Can I pause right yeah. here for a second? Because what you're describing is somebody to help you, an assistant, mm -hmm. somebody like that. Yeah. And pe people know from these videos that we work in a, in a huge church. In a lot, we're a quote mega church. People all over. Let me the ask place. you. Dying to serve. Let me ask team. you, Fuller. Yeah. The global worship arts pastor mm -hmm. of a multi-site mega church. Yeah. Do you have an assistant who is hired by the church? No. Okay. So this person, we do have, but you do have a person. Yes. What, who, who is this person? So this it's person, a volunteer. This right? person for me is a volunteer, and yes. and actually the person that does it now was brought on a part of a system already. So yeah. I've had about three people over the course of seven or eight years. Yeah. The first person I ever had was a, a lady named Kathy. Okay. She's a fantastic woman, um, and yeah, she, she was awesome. And she basically she was doing it when I when I came on. Yeah, yeah. She came to me and said, "Hey, this is what I do for a living." Yeah. Right. Let me help you. Yeah. And I said. But, can you start but today? The point, but the point is, I think a lot of people will automatically dismiss what we're saying because we work in a church that's yeah. bigger, yeah, right? Exactly. And they'll assume this is a luxury that people who work in large churches have. And that's a it's, myth. It's a, it's a myth. Yeah. Because any you, whatever, I, if you're in a church of 100 people... I guarantee you, somebody there is administrative, yeah. and they want to help. And and here's a great and thing. Just, and if you, you have to ask them. Yeah, and 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 if you say, hey, find that's, that's what you did. If you tell me find a drummer, okay, that's hard. Yeah, that's that. I'm gonna give you that one. Like, I gotta find a drummer. Yeah, like you, out of you might not 75 have a people, right? None but, of them. Might but if you drum. say you need to find someone that is fairly organized, more organized than you, yes. I can throw a balloon. <laughs> A water balloon and everyone it hits will so probably somebody, be more organized you know, than me. Somebody's gonna get wet. <laughs> exactly. Better, yeah. And so the but but let's say you don't even want to do a dude. Go to the church secretary or the administrative assistant or whoever's at your church that's organized that runs your finances and say, yeah. "Can you help me find somebody that's super organized?" Yeah. I guarantee you. Like, go there. Go. I'm sure your church has more than has some sort of treasurer yeah. or a board of elders or something. Yeah. Just find the one that seems the most organized yeah. and say, hey, I need a really organized person to help me with this. Yeah. They'll give you a list of like 20 names. So step one, I guess, is find somebody to help you. Find someone that's more organized yeah. or administrative. Yes. Unless you really love ad administrative <laughs> yes. things, right? And if you do, you probably don't need this video. You yeah, probably, yeah, already, have probably already have it done. The, the, so. This person does not need to know about music. They don't have to be a musician. Heck, they don't even have to like music. Mm -hmm. They just have to like organization. Yeah. That's step one. Now, once you find that person, and, and then you can go into this other system, but when I first started, I was the person. Yeah. Okay, I was like, I need more organization. So here's what we do. Once we get the name, we have a spreadsheet. We put that name on a spreadsheet. Yeah. And then there's a column that says, has this person been called? Yeah. Yes, no. <laughs> if the answer is no, guess what your next step is? Call them. Call them or email them or whatever. Here's the do. phone number. Here's the email. Now, if they have been called, we used to do auditions and have, and it was a total waste of time. Here's what we do. So Tasha, who is we now... Still, we still do auditions. We do. We do. But, there's, but that's later in the there's system. There's stuff that yeah. happens first. So yeah. Tasha, who is my main girl now, she's a close friend of my she's family, awesome. super organized, super administrative. She's fantastic. She's and she's a volunteer. She's a volunteer. I keep stressing that. She's a volunteer. I just know yeah. people are saying yeah. like, yeah, well, that's nice if you hire, if your church hired someone to well, help yeah. you. That doesn't she's not. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. She's a volunteer. She does it because she's good at it. She's passionate about it. And she's passionate about uh, bringing people to the church. And the worship ministry. That's it. And she loves it. And so, and she also serves on some other ministries mm -hmm. as well. So Tasha will... Once we get the information, Tasha gets all the information, and our first step is what we call a core tour. It's pretty okay? awesome. Mm -hmm. um, our ministry is called the core ministry, so we call it core tour. It's got a cute ring to it. But what we do is we pick a Wednesday every month that's mm -hmm. going to be a core tour. So that's the night we rehearse. And that's our rehearsal. That's our rehearsal. So every Wednesday, so the first Wednesday of November, we're going to have a core tour. Tasha calls all these people and says, all the stuff, you know, so glad you're part of the ministry. She does all of the hospitality stuff mm -hmm. that I'm not that great at. She, you know, that is a spiritual gift. It is. You have and people that are good at that yeah. if you're not. And it, and it's like that, you, you may hear that, like hospitality, like that sounds yeah. like 
torture. Yeah. Right? Somebody in your church, like, that That makes them feel alive. Yeah. Find that person. Right? Yeah. If your onboarding process is calling someone going, yeah, it says here you play guitar. <laughs> um, we need a guitarist. Can you play next week? Like, boy, I'd love to be a part of that. <laughs> well, that's exciting. As opposed to, hey, this is Tasha with New Hope Church. Got your name, and we are so excited to get you plugged into ministry. Let me ask you some questions. What what excites you about ministry? Yeah. Where do you see yourself serving? What are your gifts? Because a lot of people, they don't even know if they want to serve. Because yeah. they, what's the commitment? What? Yeah, yeah. And guess what? All those questions are going to be answered at the core tour. Yeah, so what All is, we want to so, do is so, get you in the room. So what do we do at the core tour? So at the core tour... Tasha calls everyone, hey, our next core tour is November X. Can you do it? And then they say, yeah. So once, and what's cool about this is, you know, because we are a little bit larger church, we'll have three or four people at a time. And so when we do the, we used to do it every week. Every but month. now we change it to every month because you want, if you have two or three people, it's more energy. Mm-hmm. So they'll come to the core tour. Sometimes it's like 10. Yeah, sometimes it's 15. This next few will be a lot yeah, because we have this volunteer, volunteer fair. fair. Yeah. But once once you, um, and, and, and again, everything's scalable, right? This is what it is for you. If you're at the small church, here's what when it is. When I was at uh, the campus at, at yeah. Garner, it was one, yeah. maybe two. At a That's time. it. Is. Yeah. But here's the thing. And you might be thinking, well, we're a small church. Do we really need a... Yes, because here's why. I would say, hey, yeah, we got a rehearsal next week. Come. And they would come. But guess what? I'm busy. Yes. I'm trying to do clicks. Yeah, I'm talking to music. There. They sit there and feel that neglected. That to me and Garner. Yes. You just, they just yeah. sat there. And, and I was kind of like, I'd, every once in a while... You'd be I'd, like, hey, how you doing? I'd, yeah, yeah. I'd take some time to yeah. go. have any questions. Not a good system. Weird. Really weird. Now they they come, Tasha takes care of them. She takes them into the room. She makes coffee. She aunt talks through the questions. Then they come into the worship center. Yeah. They set through our devotional time. Yes. We include them. We ask them questions. We get to know them. Then we do run through. They watch. Yep. Tasha gives them a tour of the building. And then she goes through our core covenant. She talks about what it's like to be on the band, when the vocals be in production. And then at the end of the rehearsal... Me and Dave and whoever else is leading will these come are, and, we'll, and these are the staff. These are the staff guys. The church, we'll come in and we'll like have Q and A. Leader of the production pastor. So and we'll sit there. Hey, I know Tasha probably answered a lot of your questions. Do you have any other questions? And then yeah. people will ask us questions. And then from there, they see what the process is like, mm-hmm. what rehearsals like. So if they're a guitar player, they've seen. Wow. Okay. This is the expectation. Mm-hmm. And then and they also see me or John or whoever's playing guitar that week. They see on our run through the like, oh, that guy's not using a music stand. Yeah. Oh, he knows the song. Yeah. Like they see also, so that the like, expectation is just, they'll yeah. see your vocalist yeah. in a rehearsal. Yeah. Right. And they'll, they'll, they'll be told the level yes. of, of expectation, but yeah. they'll also see it in practice yes. in one night. I think that's an important point. One of the reasons we do this is because we know the way we do things is very attractive. Yeah. It's organized, it's polished, it's, community we spend time laughing we have fun and so if you don't have it's that the, stuff, yeah if you don't yeah, first. if you yeah. don't this is why we talk about rehearsals this is yeah, why we talk yeah. about organization if you bring someone to your rehearsal and it's a wreck <sighs> and everyone seems frustrated and like, no one's gonna want to serve yeah we know that community is so important we bring them in and then they see dude i want to be a part of and, this and, it, and they come into our, our our devotional time they're like these people legitimately one they pray for each other and they share like personal like yeah. their friends and they know they yeah. they like each other yeah. and they support it like that's a really important yep. thing and I think that exists on lots and lots of teams it does it does yeah. you gotta shine but so you for the small church person you have this person mm-hmm. they're super administrative they're su- they got a great personality yeah. so they've already brought this person to you and this person's primed and yeah, excited yeah. and now they're witnessing your rehearsal your run through and all this stuff. And, and then you get to talk to them, and they've had a great experience. Yeah. And so now it's like, dude, when do I start? Yeah. And so that's when we have the stage two, which is, okay, after the whole night's over, Tasha will take all their information. If they're a band or vocalist, we will send them audition links. Mm-hmm. We have covered how we do auditions. Yeah, there's a million so ways to do will, auditions. This video will yeah. be forever long if we go into that as well. So there's yeah, link, I'll check link out below that. Yeah. how we do, we yeah. do them. We do video auditions, yep. and it works really yep. well. It's very streamlined. Long story so short... Production people, their next step is we hook them up with the production person mm-hmm. and they shadow and then they get plugged in. Yeah. Band vocals, we do the audition. If it's a yes, they start shadowing. Next yeah. thing you know, they're serving. Yeah. The beauty about our structure so now... Talk about shadowing. What is that? Shadowing. So um, yeah. the last thing we want to do is bring a guitarist or a vocalist right on stage. 
Yeah. You know, that could be a culture shock. Now, in for your, your situation, you your monitoring yeah, and all this your situation stuff. may a little be a little different, and you might have some flexibility. When I was running a really small campus, our audition process was more personal. I say, hey, come up to the church Tuesday yep. at three, play these songs for me, and then we would talk. We get to know each other, and then I'd plug them in. Mm -hmm. At our size now, it's easier just to send us the audition link so yep. we can go through the right channels and stuff. Um, shadowing, we'll schedule you for, if you're a killer musician with a lots of experience. Yeah. We'll skip the shadowing part. Yeah. Because everyone's different. If you've been serving at a church for eight years and yeah. now you're coming to our church and you're amazing and you've already used in ears, you've already used clicks, there's yeah. no reason to shadow. But if you're a new vocalist, you've not you don't have a lot of experience with click tracks, you'll come to a rehearsal, you'll learn the songs, you'll go through the process. Our other vocalists will train you and teach you on how to use the in-ears and stuff. Yeah. And you'll kind of get your feet wet without the pressure of, oh my gosh, I have a thousand people looking at me. Um, yes. You may need that stage or you may not mm -hmm. but i will say this there have been some times when i've regretted not having that yeah. extra filter so and then from there it's just putting them on pco or whatever your system is and then now they're fully integrated yeah. now we have all their information in a spreadsheet so to this day i can go back with every single person on our team and tell you when they did the core tour when they signed the core covenant and what their first sunday was serving yeah. You know, and so if we have any issues or, or whatever, we can always trace people back. Yeah. Um, but the system is important. Your admin person will handle all that for you. Yes. Um, and they will do it way better than what you. A, what a blessing. Oh, uh, and yeah, it's it's amazing. So like, yeah. I would I don't know what I would do if I didn't have. That, yeah. You know? Listen, your creative team needs administrative people. Mm -hmm. It needs people with hospitality gifts. And, you know, and and if you don't have that, what a great opportunity to expand. Yeah. And so you might have heard this and think. I, there's a lot of pieces in there that I don't have, like uh, a core covenant. What are you talking about? Sure. Or like a covenant that talks about your values for your worship team. Um, I'm saying this now so I can remember what to link below. Link it. Link but it. But we have covered all this stuff. We it's have all free there. It's all for free. We have free downloads. <laughs> so I'm going to talk yeah. about all the stuff yeah. we've covered that yeah. I'm going to link. And this is for me. <laughs> we want to help the, you. The core covenant, yeah. which is our values uh, for yeah. our worship team members, we have talked about that in a video and created a PDF that's a free yeah. download that you can copy it wholesale if you want. Just Link below. It. Our worship, or uh, sorry, our rehearsal uh, outline and schedule, sorry how we there. do rehearsals. We've talked yeah. about that. We have a free download about that below. And finally, our uh, audition process. Yeah. We've talked about that, how we do that. Link below it's for those there. videos. So we've it's turnkey. Hopefully, we've created it's turnkey. enough resources that just add water. Something will <laughs> it works. It works. The whole system works. Trust yes. me. I did this system uh, at a church of like a couple hundred people, and it, the same system. And I yeah. and I it was way more personal between me and the and of the course person yeah coming in. But yeah. it was the same basic system. Yeah. You can do it at at a church of a hundred yes. people, or like you said, fifty thousand people. It's yes. all going to work. And there's also caveat. Listen. Uh, you know, you always do for one what you wish you could do for everyone. Yeah. I'm not dumb. If I'm in the <laughs> lobby and someone like Sharice comes up to me yeah. and says, you know, I'm a Grammy Charisse Award. Is, she doesn't say Charisse this, is but this is awesome. the reality is Grammy Award winning vocalist, been singing in churches all her life. I'm going, can you start tomorrow? Right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> like, now we'll still do the core tour because yeah. we want them to and do the happened, values. That happened recently with Majesty. Who yes. Sings, and yeah. She's like she was an American Idol finalist. Yeah. I think she's good. She's got, I don't need she's to see her the audition. Goods, yeah. Right? There are times when you make exceptions. I met a. Uh, there was one time I met a drummer and I was literally like, "Hey, this is a guy. Yeah. That you want to go do coffee tomorrow? Yeah. Because I'm like, I want to keep this conversation alive. Yeah. We went next day, had coffee. Boom. Came by the church later, played for me. And then next yeah, thing yeah. you know, he's on a team. Is that David? Um, I can't remember I'm who not that. Not gonna put that in there. Yeah, yeah, I think it was. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> and so it's like those. You you always make exceptions, yeah. but Don't, the idea is to take right. care of everyone. Make sure everyone has a great experience. Everyone is filtered through the system properly, and you make a little exception here or there on the along the way. Yeah. Whatever you know, yeah. this is not legalism. Right. right. This is just making great experiences for everyone. Yeah. We hope you have found this helpful. If you have any questions, uh, let us know below. Again, all of these resources that we've done in previous videos it's are going to be linked below. It just makes me think. It's like, all free. How many videos? <laughs> it's like all these videos we've made, man. There's oh so gosh. much content. I we even forget about, like yeah. what. It's hard to what, even know where they're at. There. So I'll link those all below in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hey, mm -hmm. Fuller and I, uh, I'll just say this as we close. We 
really want your worship ministries to be uh, the best that they can possibly be. Yeah. We are in your corner. We are praying for you. We make we spend time making this content for free that we hope uh, helps you. That's our heart. Our heart is for the church to become the best that it can be so that we can reach the lost and so that more and more people can be saved. And that's why we're yep. doing, we believe the church is the hope of the world. So, so Hey, we're in your corner. We are, we are doing this for you and we love you. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.